So, you want to create an online course, but have no idea where to start? For over 10 years, I've used proven instructional design techniques to help dozens of people convert their expertise into online courses people care about. Here's the fastest way I've found to plan your course so it makes sense without wasting time. Most course creators start their journey overwhelmed by possibilities, have no idea what to include, start covering their favorite bits of everything, and end up teaching a whole bunch of nothing, leading to learner confusion, refunds, and wasted time rewriting the whole thing. Not to mention the hit to their brand reputation. But the cause of all this confusion for you and your learners doesn't come from trying to include too much information, but lack of focus. To be successful, we want to create a course that is focused on teaching a particular thing really, really well. But what particular thing should that be? Let's follow this three-step framework together to find your answer. What is the single most important thing someone can do in your profession with the set of skills you're teaching? It should be something tangible. For example, once you've taught someone this skill, they'll be able to play a song, draft a sales proposal, or produce a YouTube video. This should ideally be something that you know people are interested in and that you're comfortable making. This end product is the focus point for your course. The next step is teaching people all the steps and intricacies to make it. This is more than just a procedure or template. We're talking about the fundamental details behind each element that goes into building it, why they're important, and how they fit together. Now, as you begin to analyze all the different steps that are required to make this, you're likely gonna be overwhelmed again. So here's what we're going to do. Ask yourself, when you last made this product, what was the very last thing that you did? Note it down. Now, what was the very last thing you did before that step? Note that down. And what was the last thing you did before that? Note that down too. Now repeat this process and keep repeating it until you get to the very beginning of conceptualizing this product. By doing this, you now have an outline that charts and maps out all of the steps you need to teach. The question then becomes, how will you teach your learners these steps? We typically teach people through actions, activities, and assessments. Actions show people how a skill is used at pivotal points throughout the product. Another way that we can provide context is through activities. Activities combine different actions together that learners use to solve problems. Then we have assessments. They're used to examine someone's proficiency in the skills that you've been teaching them in order to make this product. When learners are tested, they leave the course feeling confident, which is critical for your review scores, reputation, and course longevity. Now, the amount of content that you put into each step, it involves the amount of awareness that your learners have on the topic already which is why you want to watch this video next to work out what their gaps are and how to fill them. I'll see you there.